good. It's a great product, that. I like it. I'm, uh, I'm actually sorry that Gillard's easing off on the whole uh, moving forward repetition. I never get sick of hearing it. Oh, I no. love it. And I think of, of the 800 or so we've heard her say, I think this is still the best one. And of course, I look, move, look forward to moving forward with you, <laughs> moving forward together. <laughs> it's a haiku. It's, it's good. Oh, I rolled off the tongue. <laughs> Did you see the, the, the latest today on this? Gillard's become so obsessed with moving forward that she's now made it illegal for any Australians to move in a backwards direction. So, if anyone, for instance, tries to reverse park their car now, you can be pretty sure the feds will be on to you in no time. Oh, look, they're very strict on it. <laughs> they take it seriously. No, they do. In, in fact, it's, it's the same deal for anybody who's caught doing backstroke at their local pool. <laughs> The experts all agree, Australians affected by mental health deserve a much better deal. But only the Liberal Party truly understands the scope of the crisis. Because only the Liberal Party is surrounded, day in, day out, by the mentally deranged. <laughs> From the outright senile and insane, to patients prone to irrational outbursts, or delusions of grandeur. <laughs> That's why we've committed $1.5 billion to mental health services just for our front bench alone. <laughs> the Liberal Party. We don't just care about mental illness, we invented it. <laughs> it's been three years since I had any work, so thank God the election's finally here. Well, we've uh, talked a lot about Julia Gillard already, but uh, one of the other compelling female figures in the race is the Liberal Party's deputy leader, Julie Bishop. I love Julie mm. Bishop. Mm. I mean, of, of, the, mm. of the two women called Bishop in the Liberal Party, she is my favourite. Mm. <laughs> and uh, plus, she's got that wonderful death stare that she does, doesn't she? My... Oh, yes, here she is. <laughs> Look at that. Giving those... <laughs> giving those eyeballs a good workout. It's amazing, isn't it? She's one of the best Sarahs in the business, oh, Andrew. She, she's one of the best. And, and look, in a Yes We Canberra exclusive, we are very lucky to have with us tonight the woman herself. Please give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Julie Bishop! <laughs> Look, do, do people always ask you to stare? Do they come up to you and go, can you just stare at me for a while, Julie? Yeah, well, that has happened to me, but um, not recently because, of course, it's been classified by ASIO and I'm pretty restricted on what I can yeah. stare at now. So it's, it's the main really... weapon we have, isn't it? It <laughs> is. It's really just now for self-defence, so <laughs> I thought I'd save it for Tony Jones and Late Line. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, now, what we thought we'd do just to see how good at staring you really are. We mm. thought we'd have a bit of a stare-off. <laughs> OK, are you up for that? Was it right? a st yeah, sure, a stare-off. Well, fantastic. All right, well, uh, we want you to take a seat. Take just, a seat, come over there. here, Julie. Is this, this is the staring seat. Is this kind of nope. going to be like a new format for the leaders' debate? Yeah, it is. Well, yeah. It could be. Okay. Yes, it is. Exactly. Yeah, a thousand right. times more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, we're going to pitch you, <clears throat> pit you up against a very special person. We're going to pitch you up against Chaz in a stare-out <laughs> contest to see who can be We have. Are you ready for this? This is it. You're sure? Are you, you know, serious? This you is You are it. about to become the deputy again, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, okay. Still, still. Enough still. trash talk. <laughs> Enough trash talk. Okay. Now, the rules are very simple. The first person to blink is the loser. Okay. okay? Right. Are you both are you ready, for ready this? to begin? <laughs> <laughs> on the count of three. Okay, all right, okay, hang on. Let me One, oh, Jesus. two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Should not try this at home. She is bloody good. <laughs> Too powerful. Ah! Oh! 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 Ladies and gentlemen. The Queen oh, of Staring has done it again. Give it up for Julie Bishop. <laughs> and hang on, hang on, hang on, no, hang on. <laughs> There's another step. Julie, don't get too cocky, OK? Ooh. Chaz was a pushover, but now 
you go head to head with one of the true staring greats. <laughs> now, let, let's find out okay. who it's going to be as we welcome to the stare off arena somebody who, in all his years of existence, has never once blinked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Gerald the Gnome. <laughs> <laughs> What training has he had? I mean, where did he learn to stare? Well, Ireland, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll limber up a bit. Big one, Julie. Are you, you all right with this? It's the ultimate yeah. stare yeah. off. Okay, don't you? Gerald. Don't you? Sorry. Oh, don't start early, Gerald. Yeah. Yeah. I can see. Peaking early, there, can, Gerald. Can you see that? Can you see that? He's just trying to, trying to mess with my mind. Well, I'm sorry, Gerald. I'm okay. scared. This is not a psychological test. This is just to stare off. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Just to stare off. I can do this. I can do this. On the count of three. One, two, three. Stare. Coming up on Lateline, the new psychiatric disorder that's plaguing Australia. For people to say they're anxious about border security doesn't make them intolerant, it certainly doesn't make them a racist. Border security anxiety. <laughs> All day I think about it. Border security, oh my god, border security, border security, oh my god, border security. I'm not racist by the way, border security. Plus, could we be facing the outbreak of yet another clinical anxiety? I'm not homophobic, I'm just anxious about Anal security. Anal security. Oh my god, anal security! Anal security! Anal security! Not bigoted, just anxious. A special late line report. Tonight at 10.15 on ABC One. Anal security! <laughs> Time now uh, to take a look at how this election is unfolding online. And uh, this week we thought we'd take a look at how politicians are using Twitter during the campaign. Yeah, a lot of pollies have Twitter accounts these days. They, uh, it's become a really effective way for them to build a huge following. Like, for instance, Kevin Rudd has almost a million mm. followers. Julie Gillard, she's gotten over 30,000 in a month. And then there's the big one. Nationals Senator John Williams is wielding a lot of influence with his 33 followers. Well, that's, that, huge. that's a strong support post. Yeah, that is massive. good. But of course, different pollies use Twitter in different ways. Some use it to promote policy, yeah. some use it to rip off Will Anderson's gags when they go on QA. Somebody said to me the other day that they were in their lounge room and every time Julia said moving forward, they took a step forward till they ended up out in the street in their pajamas. I mean it's it's just crazy. And then there are those like the Minister for Sustainable Population, Tony Burke, who just don't seem to know how to use it at all. Yes, H N B B H B H. I think he's tweeting in code. But but Tony got the hang of it eventually. In fact these days, he's quite the savvy tweeter. Oh, yeah, and he's very regular, too. He's very he? regular. He, he knows that Twitter is vital for sharing important information with the people, such as walking back to my unit from Parliament House. <laughs> Hold the front page, Tony, but then he followed up with another beauty when he told us he was walking into Parliament for a morning of interviews. <laughs> That's a one-two punch, Chris. It's fascinating. It's fascinating stuff. His Twitter feed's basically a summary of everywhere he walks. <laughs> and his followers love it, don't oh, they? They can't, can't get, get enough get walking yeah. updates. Yeah. And now that everyone's hooked, the people are demanding more instalments. Tony, 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 what's going on? <laughs> Hang on, mate, you've just taken 12 Jess. steps and Jess. you haven't tweeted a thing. You've well, kept you the phone out. You just took, what, how many, 20 steps? 12, Tweet it now. 12 steps, can they be steps with the chaser? People just want to know, whatever you're doing, tweet about the fact you're tweeting. People want to know this. Faster, faster, Tony. I'm saying we're taking steps. This is gold, mate. These are rivers of gold. What are you wearing? What's the condition of the footpath like? It's riveting information. Bad stepping there. But that's something you can tweet about. Look, that's interesting. It's a tweet pick, Tony. Tweet pick right now. This is. The Minister for Sustainable Tweeting! <laughs> now, one of the other keen tweeters out there is Liberal MP Bob Baldwin. Like, mm. like Tony, mm. he was a little bit of a slow starter. He was. Uh, look, just the U, then <laughs> T-Y. I love that T-Y. You can't even type the word type. <laughs> but once he picked it up, he got... For my, for my, he got a little too candid. Mm. Uh, like, uh, it reveals a lot, he? does. He? For instance, yeah, if this is the line, 
Tweeting about your testicles is over the line. <laughs> Here he is. Update on brass monkeys. Declared sterile overnight as a result of the frost. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information.